The time has finally come. Thank you, Stimulus. They're here! Okay, so Brandon and I are at the shop. It is Sunday. We're grabbing a toolkit really quick so we can go to the junkyard and get the front forks for the suspension and get rid of those EG forks and hopefully don't have forks that are rubbing against the axle so I can get a proper alignment. So we just made it to the junkyard um, at U Pull It and I totally forgot that I might not be able to film in there because they don't allow it. So I'll get as much as I can. We found the 89 sedan, the only one that's supposedly out here, but we might be able to find more. Doesn't have the forks on either side though, unfortunately, so. We're going to have to keep looking, see if we can find another Honda somewhere out here in this sea of cars. Well, that was a bus. They only had one Civic that was an 89 um, that's been here since, I think it was December of last year, like December 19th. So they didn't have any other ones, unfortunately. So I guess just have to uh, find some online. Okay, got the EF forks in from New Mexico, a junkyard in New Mexico. We're going to test fit them to the case ports. adjust the height of it so we can adjust the preload and everything like that so they're not just on a stupid preload. Oh, okay. They're so pretty. Okay, so Brandon's going to be helping me or pretty much doing all the work and getting the old um, coilovers out and putting the case ports in with the new forks so I can hopefully get alignment soon. And then we also have a new cross member instead of that traction bar since it was all curved. Um, it's a cross member from a CRX, so should work. It's an EF. I think that's one of the parts that's kind of interchangeable between wagons but um, and other EFs. But hopefully we'll get an alignment soon, and this should go pretty quickly. So these are the old coilovers. So these ones have actually been on Brandon's old car, then they sat for a while, then they were on uh, Fred's car because he had a similar situation where he just had really bad suspension and needed something. Um, so they sat, or they were on Fred's car for a while, and then Fred got new coilovers for his as well, and these sat at the back of the old shop for a good amount of time. Um, so they are very, very used, probably all blown, um, but it was better than nothing. So this kind of, I can't really help Brandon with all this. All right, this is the old EG fork and that's right where it was rubbing against the axle. And then here is the EF. So they don't look too different, not by much, but this shouldn't rub at all. And we'll probably just toss these. Yeah, Brandon, okay. Brandon's on the blue ball yeah. It's out. And so new second, stuff we're just speeding through it. going in. So pretty. Doesn't that kind of match your CRX wheels? Yeah, it's similar color. <laughs> so right now, Brandon is messing with the preload, whatever that means. <laughs> um, but we decided we're going to lower it about a quarter inch from where it was before. So there's a little bit less of a gap between the fender and my um, tire, but we'll see how that is. If I don't like it, we might go a little bit lower, but we'll see. So we're messing with preload first, and then we will adjust height after, right? Preload's done. Preload's done. <laughs> Can you, like, okay. let me know? <laughs> I told you, Brandon, don't wait, man. Just go with the coilovers right in the stall on the EF. Too many? Well, 
some random exact number. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty! Alright, so getting those replacement forks in and the front. The rear shouldn't have any issues, it's just the front that had an issue with the rubbing. Some lotion. <laughs> I thought you were going to spray paint. Spray paint? Yes. You should try to spray paint for what? My gauges. Oh. You want spray paint? Yes, I know spray paint. I want to suck. So here's a passenger side one, definitely blown. Look at all of the oil coming out of it. It's m much worse than the driver's side, but this one is like for sure blown with all that oil that's all over the place. This is the rear passenger, also pretty dirty and oily and yep, basically all blown. All right, on the passenger side, Brandon is adjusting the preload before he puts it in the car, an eighth inch. And why are we doing that again? It's because you don't want the spring just flopping around because then the strut will be too low and causing other ride issues. And you don't want it too compressed because then it's going to be too stiff for the ride quality of the car. And isn't that a good way to blow your suspension before you even really use it? <laughs> yeah, if it's not adjusted properly, you can easily blow the strut. Yep. He's using the spanner wrenches that came with the kit so you can adjust preload and ride height. So the only reason I'm not doing any of this is because I don't want to ruin my suspension. I also don't know what I'm doing and he can get it done 10 times faster than I can, being that he's done this a million times on all sorts of different EFs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is done they're all in we just have to tighten the bolts up top on the strut but yeah we're gonna do the rear now and get that all figured out so in the rear the struts come through up here and there's little strut tower covers yep so Brand's gonna Get this done really quick and we'll be on to the next thing. Also, I still have to paint my bumper, I know. somewhat secure with the gun or by hand but he's gonna make sure that they're all torqued in and then we are going to put the wheels on lower it down and then start adjusting ride height and go from there these are the magical stiffness adjusters so you put these in, on top of the strut so s is soft h is hard for daily driving riding around purposes we're going to go all the way soft Why is the back so far up? Because they were different adjustments. 
it. What is this angle? <laughs> the front is not off the lift. Why not? Because it's too low. Oh. Like I can't, I can't push that out. So are we gonna you have to lift and adjust it? Well, yeah, we're gonna have to raise the front. I mean the rear. The rear will probably have like. It looks like a Hot Wheel. Yeah, the the rear we we might not adjust right away because when we raise the front, the rear will go down because more weight will be put on it. Ah. So we got to adjust the front to match the rear. The rear is as far down as it can go. Um, of course it's going to settle as well, but the front's going to settle way lower than the rear is going to settle. So we're going to try and adjust this to match the rear, and then hopefully it won't settle too low. Um, but we're getting a little bit closer. Alright, first test drive. So I took it for a test drive. Um, as far as I could tell, the ride was fine. I was more worrying about rubbing, but we're going to get the rear coilovers to the same height as the front because the front is much lower and the rear is much taller. Um, it settled a little bit, but it's probably going to settle a lot more than it is now. But basically, we couldn't lower it a whole lot because the rear with the case sports cannot be much lower than that. Um, and the front's probably going to settle a little bit more than it is now, but she's a little bit lower. Either way, the ride's a lot better than it was before. That's all that really matters. <laughs>